Hello, my loves. Spiritual Love Goddess here with another message for you guys. I pray this message greets you well and all is well in your hearts and your souls. Um, the message that I got in the pre-shuffle or the card that I got in the pre-shuffle is kinship, community. And um, at the bottom of the deck, we have Ascended Masters. So let us uh, pray and then we'll get tapped in. Heavenly Father, we come before you asking for guidance and clarity, asking that you speak to us and through us in all that we do. Um, I ask that you guide the intuition of those who are receiving this message and that allow them to use it to discern what is right for them and what is not right for them. Let them take what they need and leave the rest. I ask that you guide my words, my thoughts, my actions, my deeds, and, it, and I ask that you align them with your thoughts, your actions, and your deeds for me and for those who are receiving this message. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, so we got kinship, um, community. Those of you um, getting this um, strong in my soul, um, those of you who don't necessarily have a lot of family or the family that you do have is not really in alignment, um, I'm getting black sheeps, is not really in alignment with what it is that you have. You're being asked to seek community with others. So um, go within your soul, go within your spirit and ask God to align you with those who um, are in alignment with what it is that you're seeking and watch it come into play. Um, I'm here and also to meet up groups. I'm seeing actually a couple of people at um, like gatherings. Um, so it could be like maybe a dating thing where people are getting together. Um, it's like a club like setting um, and people are mingling and dancing. I hear a lot of laughter. A lot of people are having fun. People are dressed up. So it could be one of those things where people go out to meet other people, a uh, meet and greet. That's what God just said, meet and greet. So if you're looking, if you're seeking for uh, community, if you're seeking for even love, if you're seeking for friendship, God is saying it is out there for you for the taking. It's just that you need to step out of your comfort zone to get there. And by attending those functions, it's gonna help you, lead you and align you with those like-minded souls. Next up, we have at the bottom of the deck, I'm gonna take this Ascended Masters, right? So um, you're being activated at this time with the wisdom from the Ascended Masters within your family line, um, I'm hearing, a family line, and I'm seeing like a line of people uh, going outwards and that is extending back. Um, so it's like they're going out and then they're going back to make like a triangle, if that makes sense. I don't know if somebody has um, some symbolism in regards to their a triangle. Um, I don't know how that's working out, but I'm hearing that they're there, that they're there for you. So tap in um, meditation. I'm hearing from God meditation is really important to get the messages that you're supposed to be receiving. Even if you take five minutes out, lay down on your bed, lay down on your couch, sit in a comfortable chair and start out with the intention, right? So I'm doing this with the intention to connect with my Ascended Masters. I'm doing this with the intention to, to connect with God. I'm doing this with the intention to connect with, um, I'm hearing a mother for somebody whose mother has passed away. I'm doing this with the intention to connect with my spirit guides, my ancestors, my arch, the archangels, Archangel Michael, Raphael, um, etc. Set the intention so that you can get specific information in regards to your meditations that you're doing right? So as you're laying there, you're breathing in and out, focus on your breath, focus on in and out. And for those of you who may not meditate on a regular basis, that's a good way to start. You can set your timer for five minutes. And every time you get off track, you're not, not really getting off track. It may feel like you're 
your mind is going this way and going that way, it's really hard to center sometimes. So how you bring yourself back to center is you breathe in, breathe out. And then as you're doing that, you say in your mind, in, out, in, out. And you want to take long, deep breaths. And then you'll start just hearing, hearing the breaths, hearing your heart be. Then you may hear sounds that may come from a distance, right? But it's a lot further than when it was close. And then you'll notice that you're in this like rhythm, in this realm. Um, and you'll notice that you start maybe hearing things. You may even have glimpses of seeing things, depending upon what you um, call in. So um, it's really, really nice experience. I love meditating. Um, it's so freeing. It's so, um, it's free, one. And it really gets you connected. It really gets you connected. It gets you into a calm state. It gets your vibrations raised, depending upon what it is that you want to accomplish. Um, but it gives you that calmness, that mindfulness. Um, brings things into your awareness and I'm not this is not a video <laughs> on meditation but I was just within my soul and my spirit is just brought it to to me for it to come to you guys so I hope that um, it is received anyway um, give me, leave me a comment and let me know if you already meditate and if you are meditating for how long do you meditate per day and um, any other spiritual practices, if you like, um, yeah, at this time. But also, too, in regards to your Ascended Masters, um, they're uh, an elite team, I'm hearing from God, an elite team of soldiers um, on, a spiritual, on a spiritual level that can help guide and bring wisdom and sometimes even clarity to you even if you don't think it's happening. Um, so anyway, let's see what other message that we get. Um, I'm also hearing that the flame of unconditional love doesn't die. Um, and God is saying that there's somebody particularly out there who believes um, sorry guys, I dropped a card and that'll be what I'll talk about next. Who believes that um, whoever, um, in regards to their bloodline that has passed over, uh, they left without love or feelings, excuse me, I'm corrected, feelings of love. And um, God wants you to know that the love never dies, it's unconditional. It is um, as fluid as water, right? So there's nothing, this is some, for somebody Pacific, there's nothing that you could ever have done that could change the love that that person has for you. If this, that's for you, if you believe that's for you, if that touches your soul in some way, shape or form, um, leave me an angel, an angel emoji in the, in the comment section. I appreciate that. Next up, we have conscious steps. And oh, let me, sorry, let me show you the card conscious steps so God is asking you to consciously take step forward to move in the direction that you want your life to be shaped in right um, so this could be in regards to the people that you meet um, in regards to the community that you go it could also be the conscious steps that you're taking to connect with your ascendant um, masters your spirit guides but I'm getting more on the lines of alignment in regards to what it is that you want to create. And that's for somebody out there. Um, could be somebody with, I'm seeing two, three, so that could be February 3rd, birth date. I'm hearing Susanna. I'm hearing March 8th, April 23rd or 423 I see um, that's also significant and I don't know what date that is that's significant but 423 look that up 
for sure that's for somebody Pacific. If that resonates for you, look that up, okay? But take the conscious steps that you need um, when considering the directions that you're going in with your life path, with um, directions in regards to, I'm hearing mental state too. So you wanna be in alignment, um, not you wanna be, and there's no judgments here, you guys, so I apologize if, if I sound judgy ever at all. Um, there's no judgment here, but um, yeah, you want to take conscious steps towards what it is that you're seeking in your life. Also, God wants you to know that there is unconditional love from him too. We talked about unconditional love from a person who had passed over, but it's important to know that you're loved unconditionally from God too. That's what I'm getting too. Um, yeah. I don't hear any more songs. Normally I got a story too. Yeah, I know I talked before in regards to angels uh, being with me and my daughter. And yeah, I'll never forget that. But there's been other times too. I remember one time I lived in Arizona and I was so lonely. I was so in despair. I didn't know if I was coming or going. And um, I went to Walmart Superstore. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get off on a tangent, you guys, but I just have to share this. I went to Walmart Superstore and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get some groceries. It was after midnight, it was cooler, and I didn't have to go to work the next day. And I was walking, and I just, like I said, I remember being in such a, a state of despair. And there was this man, um, and I'm looking on the shelf. I don't know, what I, even what I was looking for, I know I didn't even have a list. And there was this man that was walking up to me, he was actually walking past by, and I swear, I'm not kidding you, he looked like Jesus. He looks just like Jesus. And I was like, Lord, is that Jesus? Is Jesus walking the earth? And um, and he said, don't despair, everything's gonna be okay. And I was like, huh? You know, I was like, what? And he was like, everything's going to be okay, don't worry. And I was like, thank you, I, I so needed that, I so appreciated that, my spirit just, lifted up my vibration just raised and i was like thank you god it got me in a grateful state again you know um things sometimes we go through things right we go through things and sometimes we just need that upliftedness from somebody and just hearing those simple words from him whether it was jesus or not it could have been jesus right he glowed like jesus um but maybe he glowed to me because of what he gave me and maybe it was god himself who knows right um yeah, so anyway, I just felt that I needed to share that with you guys. It doesn't look like any other messages are coming out, you guys, but um, yeah. Yeah. I appreciate you guys being here. I really do. Thank you so much. If you like um, the way that I read, if you like the messages that I'm getting out from God and Spirit, definitely hit that like button. Um, don't forget to subscribe and share these messages with people who you feel may need it. Until next time, my loves, I'm just trying to see if another card wants to pop out. Um, but I guess not. That's okay. Until next time, my loves, be blessed, be well, and bye for now.